Okay, folks, I'm not sure what happened there. The video died, and uh, we've got to continue on. Um, so, from where I was saying about the hoses, the beauty of this machine is for filling the tub uh, or what is the suds return, it would simply be connected that way. There's where you would fill it from your sink to your wash tub or uh, to the rinse over this side as well again your configuration would be to the automatic rinse system it's not actually automatic it's manual but the uh, fill valve is, is somewhat automatic so in this case we're gonna put it into the appropriate hole and get it ready for filling the wash tub for a load this off for now. thankfully where I live I have very good water pressure I have learned, however, you have to gauge how you fill because if you put it on a little bit too strong, it will simply pop off like that. So, let me just reconfigure that. So, always be aware, folks, if you're doing this, uh, ease the pressure up slowly. Make sure you know how your taps work and where you're going so you don't have any nasty accidents. Back to the washer. There's the fill. I can even get away with a little bit more pressure than that. And because I do have pretty good water pressure, it will fill quite thick quickly. And I do promise that once I get this filled and things started, I'll shut up for a bit and let you watch it, enjoy it, and hear it. For now, I'm just sort of guiding you through what I'm doing, as if you can't see from watching. But uh, again, this machine is such a beauty, it's such a joy to use, um, especially after all these years of using front-loading washing machines, going back to an agitator-style washer that I never thought I'd want to do, but this baby impresses me. I had always underestimated the Simplicity Speed Keen machine. Uh, I had never thought it could do a good job based on a small tub and a giant agitator and a too quiet spinner that I didn't think was effective. But I gotta tell you guys, folks, after a few days of using this machine, probably over 15 loads now, this machine has really surprised me and really impressed me, and I love it. So once this gets filled, and I get this load that's waiting right next to it to go in, I'll uh, shut up and I will show you a complete 12 minute agitation wash and I will even show you it in both speeds and if I am still able to get it on the video with space allowed I'll even show you the skin rinsing process. And we are almost through. This is where things are going to get a little difficult for me for a moment. Putting the detergents in. I am not a person who uses the typical laundry product. I use baking, sorry, uh, borax and washing soda as my boosters when needed. And right now I am using them because I am sampling this machine and testing it and really giving it a run. So forgive the moment of temporary almost blindness there. Very, very little. I'm going to show you as I sprinkle the washing soda around. Very little. Very little. Probably about a te teaspoon's worth of that. And that's the washing soda. And I buy this in a box store, so that's why you see it in these um, <laughs> used chip containers. But again, uh, I'm just going to scoop a little out of this one and try and blind you too much I mean so and that's the borax and the same thing very 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 little just maybe a tad bit more I don't think I quite got enough in that 
so a bit more and again about a teaspoon's worth now I also use natural laundry detergents uh, in this case I've got a powder recently uh, versus the uh, products uh, that I usually use liquid version so I'm going to put a little bit of the, the uh, powder detergent in again for you to see and for just a regular light load that's maybe uh, half a tablespoon because uh, this is a tablespoon measurement right there and there you go that's it now you'll see that because of this the beauty is not only is it uh, friendly to your skin to the environment etc etc but it very 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 uh, it creates very little suds I'm going to turn it on to gentle for a moment or so now for you to watch as I let that distribute the detergent and if you can see by the, the water itself you can see that it reminds me of the old days of ivory snow it still has uh, saturated the water with the solution and you know that even though it's a small amount you don't see sudsing you still know it saturated the water by the, the color of it immediately how uh, that looks so for someone who has sensitive skin and like me who is considered here in Canada a disability to have sensitive skin I have found the best solution I don't always use the washing soda and borax usually just the detergent alone but in this case, I am still experimenting with the washer and washing all of my clothes in a sort of rotational base. So I want them all to get that while they're going through this machine for their first time. So now that that's pretty well uh, distributed, let's turn that off. And the fun part begins. Let's get these clothes over here and get them ready to get into this machine and then you can see things in action and as I promise I will shut up and let you actually watch the machine so towel number one towel number two I s knocked over my stack of face cloths earlier so there's about ten face cloths here that aren't actually even dirty but because they fell over, they're going in. So there you go. There's about 10 face cloths going to go in. Uh, there's some bath mats. Tea towels. Some more face cloths. Rags. I hope you can see this. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So... face cloths, another uh, rag towel. I'm giving it a good batch here because uh, I want you to see that this machine can handle more than I ever thought it could. I always underestimated this machine. I truly did. I've never used one. I've used Hoovers and I've used full-size Speed Queens, but never uh, one of these uh, uh, Simplicity style Speed Queen twin tubs. And boy, it can really handle a load and agitate the heck out of it so now there you go there's that loaded load with the chemicals you saw me put in so there won't be a lot of sudsing so you can actually see the action I am gonna turn this on to a 12 minute wash and just let you enjoy the sight I'll leave the filter off for a few minutes I'll put it on midway through and then I'll take it off in the last few minutes. Hope you enjoy folks.